Hello! In this video I would like to demonstrate a new features of Synfix Studio for video encoding. Here I have a simple animation where character is uh, waving his hand to us. Uh, very simple animation. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see what we've got for video encoding. For video encoding we use a FFMPG module and uh, now we have a new profile, new encoding profile, uh, which is H264 lossless codec. That's right, uh, now we have a possibility to encode uh, our animation into uh, lossless um, format and uh, then uh, upload it um, to YouTube or use in uh, any other application like video editor etc. Uh, and uh, you might notice that this video encoding profile is default now. So if you want to encode into uh, video without losing quality all you need is just choose ffmpg here and uh, set avi extension here and then click render uh, but now i won't do this because i would like to tell about one more feature which we have added to synfig this is an extract alpha option uh, well i will enable it and click render and while it will be rendering I will explain what does it mean. Well, as you can see we have a transparent area around our character, but the problem of uh, encoding into video format is uh, that uh, most video codecs have no support for transparency, so the transparency information alpha will be lost. The extract alpha option makes Synfig uh, render the animation in two passes. First pass renders uh, the color information only, and the second pass renders alpha information. So we've got a two files. First one with color information, and second one with alpha information. So now we can uh, use both those files mm, and insert them into other applications. For example, uh, I can uh, insert uh, this animation into 3D application. Uh, it's Blender in my case. And here we have already some scene and uh, plane so let's assign a, mm, let's assign a, uh, our video file to it but first of all let's click uh, shadeless checkbox and let's add a texture Okay, open our color data and uh, nothing is displayed because we need, oh, oh. Um, first of all let's set uh, 40 frames as animation length, so it will update and here Let's okay. Now we have a color data assigned to the plane, and uh, now let's uh, add an alpha data. So I'll add a second texture, choose image, and open uh, alpha. Let's not forget to uh, set a uh, count of frames otherwise it won't be animated and uh, and 
Uh -huh. And let's uh, assign alpha texture to alpha. I like this. Next, uh, uh -huh. it's still not transparent. Uh -huh. uh, because we need to check to check this checkbox and uh, set alpha to zero. Well, a lot of setup, but it works. And uh, finally, let's uh, remove the uh, shadow from the plane. Let's uncheck traceable option like this. So now we have a character, a animated texture assigned to the plane, and uh, we can use it for simple compositing of 3D and two dimensional animation. Well, in this case, I have a camera animated which slowly changes its angle and uh, if we will render we can uh, get animation like this yes well as you can see this is a very simple composition of course if you want uh, to have a transparency um, in your textures you can always export your animation as image sequences uh, but uh, in uh, um, some cases this is not uh, very comfortable and uh, having possibility to export into video file and keep transparency and alpha information uh, this is might be useful for many of us well that's all what i wanted to demonstrate today thank you for attention and goodbye